Because not only does that define what we want to achieve, it sort of necessarily sets up the framework for things that we don't have to do or things that are less important. I'm here with Craig Tim, Managing Director in Global Financial Crimes at Bank of America. Thanks so much, Craig, for joining us today to talk about AML effectiveness reform. The AML Act calls for program standards that focus resources on higher risk customers and activities. In addition, FinCEN has recently reinforced the need to enable financial institutions to reallocate resources from lower to higher risk customers and areas. So how should financial institutions think about this in practice? Yeah, I, I think this is where the definition is really important. It gives us the guidelines for what to do and a framework to evaluate what we shouldn't be doing. So I think here you've got three things, right? You've got, is it the law, which means actual law, not guidance, not expectations? Is it producing highly useful information to law enforcement? And is it helping me mitigate my risk? Those are really the three factors. So, you know, I, I think the way I do it is look at my program and say, for everything that's not actually required by law, is it producing one of those other two outcomes? Is it leading to highly useful information? Is it materially helping me mitigate my risks? And if it's not, that's exactly the stuff I would think about stopping and reallocating those resources to other areas. Thank you so much, Craig, for your time and your insight. Yeah, Clint, thank you. I appreciate you having me.